Hey, what's up guys and welcome back to Ask NK. Today I have some interesting updates for you guys. The folks at Chaos, creators of V-Ray, are now discontinuing V-Ray for Modo. So if you work with Modo, or probably you like to own V-Ray for Modo, this is the best time for you to actually get it. The discontinuation has already commenced as this is no longer available for purchase on their online store. But for those who like to get the licenses from Chaos resellers, you have from now till January the 20th of 2022 to get this. Now the end of sale will align with the end of maintenance as well as they will no longer offer build maintenance and updates however build will still be available on the chaos download section until the end of the support phase now the support phase is going to be running till december the 31st of 2022 which means that this is going to be the end of support and as well is going to be the end of the product life cycle speaking about this continuation the folks at autodesk are also discontinuing the 3d studio max asset library the asset library has been discontinued owing to the fact that there is low adoption from users and that makes sense this has been released sometime in 2016 up until date the adoption level has been pretty low the folks at autodesk are pulling the plug on this one so if you would like to get this you can actually go ahead and grab it right now as this is going to be available within the store from now till january the 13th 2022 the folks at autodesk are also saying that support will no longer be available for the app but users can download it and also use all of the features that exist with it something else which is also very very noticeable here is if you go all the way down, you would also notice that they've removed the online store connection. So it means that you no longer need to go to the online store to buy models and, you know, work with them. You can now rely on the asset that exists within your PC to work with the 3D Studio Max asset library if you choose to download it right now. Now, the 3D Studio Max asset library does have a couple of functions and features that makes a lot of sense and definitely would have made life easier for 3D Studio Max users. But, you know, it's a shame that this was not really adopted by the 3D Studio Max community. That is why it has been discontinued. Of course, most asset library creators right now and probably asset browser creators can take a look at this and see a couple of things that they can learn and also pick from before this actually gets discontinued finally. Now away from news of this continuation, let's talk about something that is pretty new that is now here. Unreal Engine Live Link for Autodesk Maya is live and this makes sense because you can now easily use the live link to stream your data back and forth between Maya and Unreal Engine. Now there's a couple of features that this comes with which makes a lot of sense which is the reason why we're going to talk about this in a different video and they include syncing your joint hierarchy, your blend shape, you can sync your camera attribute from focal length to the film gate to aperture down to your entire scene time code. It also makes sense to note that if you're dealing with light, your light adjustment including color intensity, cone angle and all that can also be streamed. Now this makes it even more easier and makes it a bit more interesting for those who would like to work with Unreal Engine alongside Maya. One thing for me is the fact that it has a backward compatibility which means that if you're working with Maya 2018 all the way to Maya 2022 you'll be able to download this right now and take advantage of it. And that's about it. For those who like to get this, I'm going to put a link in the description that will bring you right here where you'll be able to pick this up. And of course, if you like to read more about VR for Moto discontinuation, or probably you would like to catch up with the story from the folks at 3D Studio Max, link to this is going to be in the description. So do well to check it out. Tell me what you guys think about this one in the comment section. And of course, if you like this video or you learned something from this, you can go ahead and give a like and don't forget to share with a friend. And until I see you guys in the next one, peace.